Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video we're gonna showcase some issue we got with the forum uh, survey they did uh, the, the the developer note the developers did and it's pretty important feels like they care for us and of course we're gonna get we're gonna get from Black Friday the awaken selector for the character so guys I want to say about this two stuff in uh, this video generally I haven't processed a lot of my epic quests so the characters are not completed yet so I'm kind of drying content to continue here and go you know I need to do more of the states that they are giving to you and yes I figured out I haven't say about this one here we're gonna get in like seven days it's less than a week and you can press here and go into the forum and see the post that they are gonna give away us all this stuff we're already getting them we are in the 1 million here and we got the Mandalay Gem, we got the Waking Crystals, Cosmic Cube Fragments, Titan Component Packs, Essence, Essence of Dimension, Odin's Blessing Chest and Selector Potential Translated Character and that's with Spider Gwen inside, Elsa Bloodstone Moon Knight, Medusa, Hulk, Red Guardian, Dr. Octopus, Red Skull and Sadder Cell and War Tiger and I have put these 10 characters here to show you my progress through them and yes as you can see I've got already most of them I've got Amadeus Cho, I've got Moon Knight, I've got Red Skull, Dr. Octopus, Spider Gwen, Medusa and I don't have like Sadow Cell, I don't have like uh, Elsa Bloodstone, I don't have War Tiger or Red Guardian. So for my account, I feel like I can do two choices. And the one is going for Red Guardian and complete the thing that you're getting from Legendary Battle. You, If you do that, you're gonna get uh, this reward here. And that's a uh, level 6 advanced potential ticket. So you're, you're having like a small win there you're getting that okay it feels okay but uh, for my account I feel like I could use Elsa Bloodstone leadership and she got a really good leadership cause characters like speed types have no no leaderships at all generally there is no all attack leadership in speed types and you can figure out you know from here I go one by one and you're gonna figure out there is no good leadership guys there is no leadership with all attack and yes uh, I can't say you know Deadpool it's self leadership there is only some ignore defense ignore dodge I mean from Hawkeye that's a good leadership but all attack it's just wave is just Elsa Bloodstone so yes why not why not at least for awakening tier 3 characters so I'm gonna build here I'm gonna make here transcendent uh, from the ticket just for that but generally guys the tire list for me on this one is Moon Knight is the best that's the top cause he already doing uh, he's he still is in the ABX meta he can do really a lot of damage and he's he's really tough you know I had uh, a mighty energy on him but I equip it I'm not using him that much but I used to have really good build on him you can see the other blessing removed from here so first of all I'm gonna say if you don't have Moon Knight go for him he's really cool and after him I'm gonna say Spider Gwen Spider Gwen, I used to have a raid, uh, but after a while I swap it. I wasn't using her a lot, so yes, she's good. She's uh, she's the second in the damage, but she's not that usable. You know, you're not using her for something specific. So she is the number two. The number three could be like uh, a character like uh, Medusa, cause Medusa got a really good burst with Hero Awaken and she's a really solid leadership and yes you can see that she got also the passive ability that is giving where is it here it is yes to all in human allies so she's a really good support for black for black bolt if you have him already and a 45 general universal type 
all attack that's really cool also and the rest of the characters i mean dr octopus is like three it's the third you know after hawkeye and after cover's claim perhaps he's the best for uh, villain uh, villain male and speed type but yes he is not that good. Also, Amadeus Cho is also not that good. After that is going Red Skull and Red Guardian. I I could say they are good for PvP something. And in the last options, I'm gonna say War Tiger and Sado Cell. These two are good only for a line conquest. If you have them, Awaken three of these characters, you're going really well there. Uh, they are really hard to die because the first time they're dying they're starting with their with their awakening skill so yes feels like it's uh the meta goes uh, you know the i could go first moon knight gwenpool medusa dr octopus amadeus Cho, red guardian red skull war tiger shadow cell or shadow cell red tiger and elsa bloodstone could be you know like in in the last cause like Elsa Bloodstone it's the character that haven't take uh, an advantage more of the all the characters you know she is the worst out of everyone but she's a good leadership for all boss legend that's why I'm gonna choose here and between here War Tiger Red Guardian and Sado Cell only she gonna add something in my account you know and next extra leadership in world boss legend why not she's also agility tag so you could use here oh no she's not okay forget it i thought she had an agility tag to use here and the agility world boss ultimate uh world boss legend uh her call, null after stage 40 i think that's pretty much uh, my opinion you know don't uh, think that that's something perfect or you have to go by that you know that's something new we get we can see the chances of getting something out of the game like a coming card combine you can see if you do a mythic card you can you can see the chances you know how how usable is to get a really good proc or pff, everything you can count everything that's really good for the game and generally i believe the game is going really good you know with this thing the add the developer note feels like they really care about the game and all this stuff you know they even add uh, the dimension rifts and they they did the survey to explain about how, how they're thinking about it and how they're gonna improve it with auto repeat and they're gonna add uh, story mode improvements with auto repeat i'm not sure about that we have to figure out but you know you want to do the game faster it's taking too long to play this story mode guys <laughs> it's really hard you know i'm struggling every day with myself and generally i feel like the game is going really nice guys yeah i'm really happy i want to see more you know i want to see more awakening characters more tier 3 characters all the animations all this stuff i really enjoy you know every single aspect of the game and that they are giving effort to do this stuff you know it's really important go gives yourself some time and read it it's totally worth it but you know reading it to you doesn't feel like no, you can go from yourself press that button and you have it to read it they did it for us at one by one you know they want us to complete the survey during the game every one month or whatever we're gonna figure out about it so yes i feel really cool and the game is going really nice and i hope i helped you decide about the black friday gift we took with the uh, transcending the awakened character and yes that's for me i really enjoy the game i hope you do too and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you want to see something more in the channel, if you have any idea about the new characters, you want to see them, using them like PvP or PV or whatever, drop a comment and I will do that. Bye bye to everyone, I hope you enjoy!